I received an email saying asking me if I want to participate with the World Team Sports, and uh, they had lined out the uh, uh, the ride, and uh, I replied back, and one thing led to another, and next thing you know, I was I was given the opportunity to be part of this amazing uh, 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 ride across America. Now, when I learned of your disability, it got my attention. Could you share that with us? Yes, I was uh, injured on September 2nd, 2006. Uh, outside of Baghdad, a town called Yusufia, which is southwest of Baghdad, about 20 miles. It was on September 2nd. Uh, we were conducting offensive operations, um, and I was on a rooftop. I had just relieved some of my guys off the rooftop, and I was trying to find a location where I could uh, uh, move my guys to that provide a little bit more cover and concealment. Uh, I was in charge of uh, reconnaissance and a uh, sniper platoon. And moments uh, right after I got on the rooftop, two 82 millimeter mortar rounds landed in my vicinity, one landing five feet to the left, uh, randomly severely injured. Uh, soldiers in my platoon immediately jumped into action and they pulled me off the rooftop, applied first aid, called in a medevac, and they continued on. I was flown to Baghdad, Balad, Longstool, and Walter Reed. And um, Walter Reed was not able to handle my injuries. So I was then uh, shipped over to Bethesda Naval Medical Center. And I was very fortunate because uh, I was one of the first Army guys to be treated there, at least one of very few. And I can tell you that Bethesda uh, has a dear place, uh, a special place in my heart. Uh, all the Na Navy and Marine Corps personnel uh, took great care of me and, and uh, uh, put me back together. Um, so out of that injury, uh, that uh, mortar round, um, that broke my nose, my cheekbone, and nucleated my right eye. A fragment went into my left. I had a fragment that went into my neck and nipped my vertebral artery, creating a bilobe aneurysm. My, my left humerus, I had an open bone fracture. My uh, deltoid muscle was torn, uh, missing bones. My finger was amputated. My lungs collapsed, and I had a pulmonary embolism and open flesh wounds due to, due to shrapnel. But also uh, that day, that same mortar round that injured me also killed two service members, uh, part of my unit. So that was pretty devastating having to hear that, uh, that I lost those two guys. Excuse me? Describe what it's like uh, being involved in a bicycle ride where you've lost your eyesight. You know, World Team Sports has, has got a wide range of, uh, of service members on this ride. Uh, they did it back in 2010, and then they're doing it now. And uh, we have Army, Air Force, Navy, Marine, and Coast Guard, and uh, from Vietnam to OIF, OEF, and um, with multiple injuries, stateside, at war, and illnesses too. So we have folks with genetic uh, diseases, we have folks that have survived cancer and uh, injuries of war. But uh, this ride is very uh, important for me. This is one of my a personal goal for me. Uh, every one of the riders have, uh, have their own goal uh, that they want to achieve on this ride. Uh, mine was to, to, my, to cycle each mile of the way, see the country, and do it by bike. You know, it's, uh, not everybody gets a, this opportunity to, to cycle across America. And now uh, I'm very grateful for World Team Sports and their sponsors uh, that made this happen. Uh, it's been an, an amazing uh, trip. Uh, I can tell you, we spent a lot of time on that saddle, uh, but it, it has been great. You know, we've uh, we fared the the weather. We had record heat, um, and uh, you could definitely tell as as you're coming across the country, uh, leaving leaving uh, San Francisco on the 28th of May, which is Memorial Day. How fitting from uh, the San Francisco Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge there. Uh, across California, we crossed uh, Nevada, Utah, uh, crossed over to uh, Colorado, and then uh, we did uh, Kansas, uh, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia also, and D.C., and now uh, we're great to be here in Fredericksburg. Uh, we had the opportunity to visit our nation's capital and spend some time there and hit the, the uh, the monuments and, and uh, the museums there in, in Arlington and Iwo Jima. 
and now we're here at the uh, at the Marine Corps uh, Museum, and and it's you know we have two Marines uh, that are part of the ride, and they are very proud of their service, and uh, you know I'm very proud of, of the Marines as well. As I always say, you know it's one team, one fight. So this is all together. Um, so uh, I I I I'm happy to be part of this ride and grateful. And your active duty. Tell tell me what you do for the Army today. I'm a company commander down at Fort Bragg. Uh, as we call it down there, the center of the universe, and uh, some Marines may not think that, but um, I work for Special Operations, and I'm a company commander for a, a uh, headquarters and headquarters company at the Special Operations Recruiting Battalion. So that's in-service recruiting. So we tell, just like the Mar Marines have MARSOC, uh, that's under Special Operations Command. Uh, so we have uh, Special Forces Green Berets. Uh, civil Affairs, Psychological Operation, Task Force 160th, which are the Night Stalkers. Uh, we recruit warrant officers, EOD also. Uh, so we, we do in-service recruiting. I am very blessed uh, that um, there's a different mindset now um, in the last couple of years of our injured service members. And I could tell you I know sev several Marines and uh, Navy, uh, some sailors, uh, that have had the opportunity to get injured and still uh, contribute to the force. Uh, we may not be doing the things that we did in the past. Uh, I was a guy on a, on a special forces team uh, and obviously I, I can't do that job no more uh, as much as I'd love to, but there are plenty of opportunities for, for people with disability that have sustained injuries or disability within the military. We have experienced the knowledge and it's an adapting force. So uh, if we have the will, the desire, if we have uh, the ability to, to be uh, 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 technically or tactically proficient in an area, uh, I think it, it's great because we could share our experience, our knowledge to others. In, a, in my case, immediately my first job was to, uh, as, as my unit deployed, and it was heartbreaking to see those guys go back to war, and as much as I want to be with them, I stayed back taking care of the families, taking care of uh, KIAs that came back or wounded guys that came back. I had been through the system. I knew what, it, what, what they needed to do. And the new guys heading out, so I was making sure that they were uh, ready to, to head out to deploy. And uh, we, I ran rotator birds. There's, you know, the mission, although some units still deploy, there's still a vital mission back here. And that could be taking care of the family and those that come injured. And do you have any final comments uh, about your whole experience in this seat shining scene by the um, I can tell you that, uh, you know, we're coming here to the end. Uh, some of us uh, are happy to see the end. This has been a long ride, you know, two months away from our family, friends, and jobs, and, and uh, you know, putting your life on hold. But it, it will be a memorable experience that I know that uh, a lot will, uh, will, will uh, share for, our, for their lifetime. You know, also, going back to my injuries, uh, I got my treatment at Bethesda Naval Medical Center. And um, as I lay there in the hospital, you know, I, not knowing what a person with blindness could do, you know, I, we, we focus on our little area uh, of our life. We live like in a bubble. So when you're told that you're blind, you really don't know what, what can and you cannot do. And um, once I overheard a, a Navy nurse and a, and a resident talk about the Marine Corps Marathon, that was my first goal, was to run the Marine Corps Marathon to show an appreciation of all the wonderful care I received at Bethesda. And uh, I can tell you that uh, despite the odds, uh, and a lot of folks didn't think I was gonna make it, I ran the Marine Corps Marathon uh, 13 months right after my injury. Uh, keep in mind, you know, I had lost 50 pounds of muscle and then had gained 70 pounds of fat, so. But, you know, with the support of my family, friends, my command, I was able to do that. and. Uh, I've ran every Marine Corps marathon, every Army 10-miler, uh, and Air Force marathon ever since. So this year, we're looking forward here in October, at the end of the month, um, going back and running the Marine Corps marathon again. And it's a great, great marathon, I can tell you. It's, uh, the Marines uh, put out a great event.